fish on, fish on. I'll catch you later. Fish on. 12 feet deep, guys. We got them dialed. We got, got the pattern. We got the pattern. Small orange junior trolling fly, 12 feet deep. Hybrid lead core rig. I was talking to Wes on that one. And uh, it just it's just hammer time. This one doesn't feel as big, but you can't tell until you get them up. Crossing behind me, so I need to come around. Uh, you know, boat control is important. Kayak control is even more important. I got a big old rudder hanging down behind the kayak there. And these fish are pretty wild fighters, so you have to be aware of that. Fish position when you're trying to land a fish is critical and so is being patient. I lost a big fish earlier this morning because I was impatient with the net. Um, typically, they've been coming, oh, right there. They get up to within about a color, maybe half a color of the color. Oh, big jump. And uh, they decide they don't like the way things are going. They start going absolutely crazy. So I'm just nice, gentle pedal here. This fish isn't done by any means. It's right there, just an average size fish. They fight like steelhead here at Eagle Lake. And they can't stay off that orange fly. Oof. I want to get my cousin Tom on some of these fish, and I thought he was playing with his net a little earlier, so he might be on them now. But he was having a hard time dialing his net, or dialing his depth, without the lead core. We're using trolling sinkers, and uh, I, I think he was starting to get dialed in, so hopefully he's catching fish too. Just another handsome trout. Man, oh man, what a beauty. Right there, just like that. Man, look at that amazing trout. <laughs> what a stud. That's what trolling flies can do. Getting back in here. Howdy guys, Cal Kellogg here. Welcome back to the channel. I get a lot of questions about setback. In other words, how far do I position my lures behind the boat or behind the kayak when I'm out trolling for trout? Well, let's talk about lure position and there's really two aspects to it. One, there's setback. How far back are you behind the craft you're fishing out of? And where is your lure positioned in relation to the trout? Let's talk about setback first. If I'm fishing fish that are, you know, fairly shallow, say in the top 30 feet of the water column, I'm, and I'm in my kayak, my basic setback is anywhere from 50 to 75 feet. Biggest wild rainbow I've ever caught out of this kayak was 60 feet back, and uh, he hit about maybe one to two feet under the surface, okay? So he wasn't scooped, spooked by me at all, big experienced fish. Came in, he hit with authority, fish on, I got him, that was great. If I'm fishing out of my power boat um, and the fish are near the surface, I like to be back a minimum of 100 feet and I might go back all the way to 200 feet. If I'm fishing a shallow bay where the water is only 20 or 30 feet deep, you know, between the surface and the bottom, I'll get back behind that power boat a full 200 feet. If the water's glassy, I'll get back 175 to 200 feet. Um, if the fish seems spooky, I'll get back, you know, 200 feet the boat has a big footprint my pontoon boat's 20 feet long it has a big footprint it, it spooks the fish you need to get your offering away from the fish um, less so with the kayak or a canoe or something like that now if you're at a lake where the fish are deep let's say we're out at Folsom Lake and the fish are 75 to 100 feet deep well you're gonna be running your downrigger and you don't need that much setback in that situation if I'm in my power boat I might only be running 30 to 40 feet of setback. You could probably get by with even less because you're already 75, 80, 85 feet down below the boat. So you don't need to go back as far. But good rule of thumb, shallow fish, 50 to 75 feet out of a small craft like my kayak, 100 feet minimum out of a power boat, okay? So that's setback. Let's talk about where you position your lure in relation to the fish. If I've got surface temperature that's 65 degrees or less, I pretty much assume at some point during the day, I'm gonna have rainbows right 
near the surface, okay? Like right now, I'm starting to get chopped. I got 63 degrees surface temperature. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be rainbows right under this chop. So I want a, a line up in that top six to eight foot range, all right? Um, if the surface temperature is warm, let's say it's 70, 75, 80 degrees, well, you know the trout are gonna be deeper. You're gonna to have to use your sonar to find some marks, maybe find some bait and some marks, and then you're gonna to have to drop down to those fish. Rule of thumb, you want your bait five to 10 feet above the level that the trout are cruising at. They're stream fish by trade, okay? They wanna see their prey up there, they wanna go up, grab it, and go back down. That's how they feed. So if you see a bunch of marks down at 80 feet, position one lure at 75 and one at 70. You want those fish to be able to move up and feed and go back down to their comfort zone. When I'm out here and I'm top lining in the spring or in the fall and I'm catching fish one or two feet deep, those fish are probably cruising five, six, eight feet deep, see the lure, go up, get the lure and go back down. It's way better to be 10 feet above the trout than it is to be one foot below them. I have captured fish on my camera, okay, coming down on the bait. But most of the time, the vast majority of the time, the fish that I get striking my lures on the camera, they're coming from below the screen, they're coming up into the screen, grabbing at the lure and trying to go back down if they get hooked or if they grab the lure. It's just how they feed. So. To sum up, keep your bait above the level of the fish. Five to 10 feet above the fish is perfect. Um, in terms of setback, 100 feet minimum out of a power boat. If you're in a small craft like this Hobie Pro Angler kayak, 50 to 75 should be fine. Some days you can get a lot closer to the boat than that when the fish are feeling feisty, but how would you know? You have to always assume that they're gonna be spooky and hard to catch and work from, from that mindset. And that's gonna keep you catching fish consistent, consistently throughout the year. Anyway, that's how I think about positioning my lures. Your mileage may vary, but I'll tell you what, if you use my system, my thought process, you're gonna consistently catch fish throughout the season, throughout your trout fishing career. I'm Cal Kellogg, I'm gonna jump for now if you're looking for gear, fishhuntshoot.com. Check out my store. I'll catch you later right here on YouTube.